What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, I share with you guys my settings in Call of Duty Mobile. Everything guys, the graphic settings, the sensitivity settings, heads up display, a quick look, everything for Call of Duty Mobile multiplayer and Battle Royale. Been, it's been requested a lot. I was not ready to share my settings because I was still tweaking, I was still trying stuff. And even like two days ago, I still discovered uh, a bit more stuff because of you guys. So today I share everything with you and hope you guys will enjoy the video. Let's do this. If you guys are new to the game and you're confused, what I suggest is just copy that, copy everything I have on my sensitivity and start with that. Play for a week or two and see how it feels. And then you can start tweaking from there. I mean, if you're really confused and you have no idea what to do. So let's start with that. First of all, settings is the cogwheel uh, on the top of the screen and you will get to that. Okay, first of all, what the hell is that? advanced or simple mode well i always use advanced and then you have one tap ads or hip fire or custom i use custom and you will see why but if you go one tap ads it's really good for beginners and i use that a lot at the start so what it does is uh if you check that one tap ads means you will have one fire button and anytime you fire a weapon as you click the fire button it's gonna aim down sight automatically so you always aim down sight. You don't need to click another button to aim and then you shoot. So it's really cool. And I used it for about a week or two. And I quickly realized there was a problem with that. The problem is when you get close range fights and you don't want to aim down sight when someone's in your face. You want to hit fire and you, you turn faster when you're hit firing. Because when you aim down sight, usually you're going to have a lower sensitivity because you want more precision. So that was a problem guys and it didn't last long. Uh, if you go hip fire, well all your all your weapons will be hip fire. Now I use custom because there's two weapons that I still uh, like to get the auto aim down sight. Now I don't know why the pistols, I never use pistols but snipers is really cool to have auto aim down sight because you can quick scope. Anytime you have your target, you, you center and you click it's gonna aim down sight and then you release and it shoots. So, well, you guys have to try it at least. But for all the other weapons, I want to manually decide to aim down sight if I want. Yeah, I suggest you guys move to that and just get used to it. You're going to be a better player, in my opinion. Uh, I know it's really cool, that button. And it's really nice for new players or beginners to mobile games. But it's not a good thing to get used to that. You have more control. But yeah, it's just it's one more button. All right, so BR mode, exact this, exactly the same. Uh, hip fire for everything except the sniper and pistol. But I don't use pistols much, seriously. Um, I don't know if I ever hit fire with a pistol. So let's go back now to the basic stuff. For multiplayer and uh, for battle royale, I got pretty much the same settings. So first thing is aim assist. I turn it off, but I know a lot of players use it and I think maybe you should use it. Uh, it really really helps it's gonna be easier to aim and hit your targets uh, I know a lot of good players use it. It's in the game. It's not cheating. So why not use it, right? Uh, if you play Call of Duty on consoles with a controller um, There's aim assist. It's just maybe you didn't know but it means whenever you're really close or you're trying to point at the target uh, The aim assist will help you a little bit to lock on the target. So you're gonna get a better accuracy um and there's not a lot of reasons not to use it honestly it's very situational but in some situations maybe aim assist could uh could be a problem is when there's two targets really close together it's gonna lock on the first target but maybe sometimes you want to shoot the guy in the back for some reason uh if your aim assist is off you maybe have a bit more control but seriously i tried both i didn't really see a difference it's just i feel like not using it but I think you guys should probably try it. Uh, fast throw grenade is when you select your grenade, if you got fast throw on, as soon as you click the fire button, it's going to throw the grenade. Okay. So when you use frag grenades, I really think you should get uh, fast throw off because when you select your grenade and you click, it's going to hold it and you're going to see the timer. So you can cook the grenade. I think you guys probably heard the term cooking a grenade is hold it until the last moment. And then you throw it, it's gonna explode. Um, so you have, again, more control. 
Now, depending on the distance you want to throw it, sometimes you're really close and you want to just throw it and it explodes. So more control, but um, I always played cooking grenade on console. So I, the rest quick run from prone is on fix uh, fire rate button. Okay, because you got fixed joystick um, and fixed fire button. So it means if you click outside of the button, it's not going to shoot. You have to click on the button. I think this should be on guys. You don't want to fire when you click close to your button most of the time. Uh, aim down sight is... I use tap to aim down sight. It means when you click on the button, it's gonna aim and it's gonna stay like that. If you go tap and hold, it means if you release your finger, it's gonna stop aiming down sight. So I use it. Uh, you can go double tap also. It's If you don't wanna have too many buttons, double tap is just you double tap your screen. I didn't try it by the way, so don't call me, but on other games, you double tap your screen, it's gonna aim down sight. So it means you don't have an extra button to aim down sight. Correct me if I'm wrong again. Uh, display the left fire button. You can have the two fire buttons, one on the left, one on the right. I think one of the two is going to be auto ADS. I don't need the two buttons, but it's off. Um, and then about the sliding, you can decide to tap or to hold if you want to slide. You can decide to go here so you won't accidentally slide if you don't want to slide. You have to actually leave your finger on the button to slide. But it's super easy like that. I'm pretty sure everyone used that. Uh, always sprint is off but very high sensitivity um i'm pretty much always sprinting but rarely i'll see situations when i when i don't want to sprint in gyro or gyro guys type in the chat uh, type in the comment is it gyroscope i think it's gyroscope i don't use that and never did and i don't think i ever will um maybe in the future but i don't think so camera field of view is the one thing i just discovered like two days ago it was on the lowest settings and I put it to uh, in the middle, something like that. But what it does is I, I did see uh, some situations. I did see some screenshots. When it's on the lowest, you will see a smaller field. And if it's on the highest, you will see a larger field. But your targets will be smaller. So I put it in the middle. I'm still experimenting. But right now, I feel comfortable with that. So that is the multiplayer basic settings. And BR is pretty much the same, guys. Tap to aim down sight. Uh, no left button, uh, tap to slide, but um, anything different, field of view 65, pretty much in the middle. I I'm just trying to get used to it, but I was playing on the lowest field of view for two months. Right? Um, so yeah, I did play today, it was pretty good, uh, nothing to say about that, and you guys let me know what you use for field of view. Now here, audio and graphics, guys, graphic settings. It's all high for me because I play on an iPad Pro, so it's a good processor, it's a good device. And here, guys, if you have some lag on your phone, depending if you have an older device. Uh, on other games, we realize on multiplayer, if you had some lag, it's not always the servers, it's not always the game. Sometimes it's your phone. So you might want to try that. Put the graphic settings to the lowest quality, but keep a high frame rate. So this is going to be good performance. It's better for your phone, for overheating, for battery usage, but also the lag, okay? So I'm gonna leave it on, on um, high everything because it looks better on stream and on the videos. But seriously, if you have issues, try the low graphic, high frame rate, all right? Uh, the rest, honestly, I never really touched that. So I don't even know what Ragdoll is, guys. Uh, it's been off anti-aliasing. Uh, depth of field bloom and, and all that. I mean, just leave it like that. Auto adjust the screen. I never try to customize that, but I leave it on auto. Uh, audio is just I turn off the music today because it's annoying when I record videos, but the music is pretty epic in this game and I've been leaving the music on for a long time. I love it. Well, here's my sensitivity settings. You can take a screenshot. I'll show you everything. First of all is fixed speed, guys. Speed acceleration, I try it. What it does is when you move your finger, your character will turn, right? But if you swipe faster, it turns more and it gets really confusing. It's not super consistent because you're not always turning or swiping the same speed. Uh, so you're going to have some surprise and you might feel disoriented. I don't suggest that, but you can try it for fun if you want. Uh, I think it's cool, but it's not for me. Now, custom settings. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything to say. I still tweak a little bit from time to time, but I've been using these settings lately. I feel more and more comfortable. 
I don't think I will change it tomorrow, but if you're new to the game and you don't know how to set it up, try my settings, see if you like it, and then start tweaking it a little bit and make it more uh, comfortable for you, I guess. But yeah, screenshot that if you don't know how to set up your, your sensitivity. This is working for me. Maybe it's going to work for you, right? Uh, then the gyroscope, I mean, I don't even use it. So, like, I didn't touch that, I think. Maybe I touched it, but I don't use it ever. So, don't don't mind it. Now, BR sensitivity settings, pretty much the same. 65, 110, and uh, 85, and all that. I use the same numbers on BR and multiplayer. Now, there's a cool thing, guys, in Battle Royale. First of all, the vehicle settings. I never tried the other settings, but you have different options. And semi file for the camera. Check it out, guys. You have loot settings, okay? Because I'm on auto loot. So it means you don't have to click everything all the time. When you start the game and you got nothing, if you run over something, it's going to auto pick it up. But now you can decide how many you want. So if you have items that you never use, put them at zero. So it's not going to pick them up on the ground. And um, the grenades. Like, I never use tactical grenades. So smoke, concussion, flashbang. I put it all at zero so you don't end up with a full backpack of stuff that you don't use and then you have to open your backpack and then empty it to pick up other stuff. So I use the damage grenades like grenade cluster serial bomb. Um, but yeah, first aid kit to max, adrenaline to max. You never have too many adrenaline shots, right? So that's pretty much it for the settings. The rest is all personal quick messages if you want to chill and uh, make your own custom custom list of messages now last thing would be my heads up display but i'm still tweaking it like i said i transitioned twice from uh, two playing with two fingers from two to a three finger claw where you use your thumb to fire and i started using my left finger to aim down sight and now i'm using a four finger claw so using both fingers and both uh indexes so i'm using my left hand to fire and my right hand to aim down sight and uh, I really realized that when you use your thumb to fire, what it does is anytime you're you're targeting something and then you have to lift your finger to fire, well, your crosshair will move a little bit just from removing your thumb. And then you start firing and you have to go to your target again. So maybe use um, the aim assist is gonna probably be better if you use two, two fingers or two thumbs. But firing from my left hand really helped with being more consistent with my aim. And once again, I only started a few days ago. I'll probably make another video on that with a hand cam and, and all that. I started showing a little bit of gameplay with the hand cam if you watch my previous videos. But it's for the best. It's going to take time to get used to it. But you're going to be a better player when you're used to it. But it takes hundreds and hundreds of games for your brain to get used to it. So that's going to be it, guys, for today's video. Graphic settings, sensitivity settings, HUD. Now that's going to be it for today's video. If it helped, leave a like. And once again, please subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. And leave me a comment below what you guys use. Two fingers, three fingers, four fingers. I know some of you guys use six fingers claw uh, with six fingers on the screen. That's pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, I, I know I, I hear your comments, guys. I read everything. So I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.